Okay, what I'm going to do uh, today is run through how to enable offline uh, edit mode for your Google Docs. Um, in order to get started, you need to make sure that your Google uh, account has upgraded to Google Drive as opposed to Documents. So it needs to say Drive here, not Documents. Uh, you need to be using Google Chrome and you need to uh, download and install the Google Drive application. So if you haven't done this part yet, uh, check out my last video. It kind of compares the difference between uh, Google Drive and Google Docs. Um, the other uh, thing, if you're running uh, Google Apps for Domains or Google Apps for Education, you need to come in here to your uh, dashboard and make sure under Settings, Drive and Docs, that uh, Allow Users to Enable Docs Offline is checked. Uh, mine was not by default, so it took about two days for that to kick in on my domain. So There are a couple ways you can enable this. You could go down to the application and go to Preferences and enable it here. Um, I don't know, this doesn't say offline editing, so I don't, I'm don't. i not going to do it this way. I'm going to come over to my gear, and I'll say set up uh, docs offline. Okay, so you get a little message here, uh, which is you should pay attention to if you plan on doing, if you're traveling or you're going to be somewhere where there's no internet, uh, you want to go to docs.google.com, and we'll demonstrate that here in a minute. Again, you have to do this in Chrome. Uh, so one nice feature uh, about this offline mode is if you have an internet connection that's dropping intermittent, um, you know, it's going to detect that for you. So let's give it a shot. I'll just go ahead and disable my network adapter and uh, see if we get a message. Sometimes it takes a second or two for it to actually uh, kick in. Okay, so you can see up here that says you were offline, um, and sometimes you get a little message up here as well, which prompts you to switch over to the offline documents. Um, let's come back out. So we have it here now. Connection lost, switch to docs offline, or you could dismiss it. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to my docs offline so you can see what that looks like. I'll come in here. This is a document I created in my last uh, video. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, so I'll come back in here and enable my network adapter as well. So we're just sort of emulating um, what would happen if you dropped connection. Okay, so it tells you right here, reconnecting, right? So I'm going to drop out of here. Um, we're in the offline mode here. So what we might want to do is just come in, com, and we're back online. Over here too, you can always see last sync offline was two minutes ago. So uh, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to represent my change, and it, it does. So this uh, edit was made offline. I came back into my Google Drive space, um, and that had already synchronized. So that's a pretty neat feature. Uh, I guess the last thing I'll do is I'll just close out of Chrome all altogether and uh, disable my internet again. And this would emulate, um, you know, a situation where possibly you um, didn't have internet and you had a document that you were continuous, uh, continually working on and you had already enabled the uh, offline mode. So we're just going to, just like the, uh, the little prompt said, docs.google.com. And uh, we're in here. Okay, I'm not going to go through and reconnect and everything. Um, but basically, you get the gist of it. it. It's offline. We're able to make edits. Uh, you're able to save the document. And then when your internet connection comes back, or you get to a place where you have internet connection, your offline documents will automatically sync with your uh, online drive space. And uh, it's really the feature of Google Docs, I guess, has been missing. So um, again, hopefully this has been helpful. And if you have questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks.